Hello there, welcome back to Wireless Solutions. Today, we are going to tackle a frustrating issue that many iPhone users encounter, not receiving calls. If you have been missing important calls or wondering why your phone stays silent, they've got you covered. Let us dive into the steps to troubleshoot and fix this problem. There could be several reasons why your iPhone is not receiving calls. It might be due to network issues, settings on your phone, or even software glitches. We will walk you through each potential solution step by step to get your phone ringing again. Step number one, check signal strength. The first step in troubleshooting why your iPhone isn't receiving calls is to check your device signal strength. Poor network coverage or weak signals can often be the culprit. Here's a detailed guide on what you can do. Number one, check signal bars. Start by examining the signal bars displayed in the upper left corner of your iPhone screen. If you notice that you have low or no bars, it indicates a weak signal. To potentially resolve this issue, consider moving to a different location where the signal reception is stronger. Number 2. Enable Airplane Mode Another effective troubleshooting step is to temporarily enable airplane mode. Here's how you can do it. Wipe down from the top right corner of your screen to access the control center. Locate and tap on the airplane icon. This action will activate airplane mode, which turns off all wireless connections on your device. Wait for a few seconds to allow your iPhone to disconnect from the network completely. Tap the airplane icon again to disable airplane mode. This action will re-establish connections and may help reset your network settings, potentially resolving any connectivity issues affecting call reception. By following these steps, you can effectively address common network-related issues that may be preventing calls from coming through on your iPhone. If the problem persists after trying these solutions, there may be other settings or network configurations that need to be adjusted further. Step number 2. Restart your iPhone Performing a simple restart can often resolve minor software glitches that might be affecting your iPhone's ability to receive calls. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to restart your iPhone. Locate the side button or the top button depending on your iPhone model and press and hold it down. For iPhone X and later models, press and hold the side button along with either volume button until the power off slider appears. For iPhone 8 and earlier models, press and hold the top button until the power off slider appears. Once the power off slider appears on your screen, swipe it from left to right to turn off your iPhone. After your iPhone powers off completely, wait for a few seconds, then press and hold the side or top button again until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. This indicates that your iPhone is restarting. Performing a restart refreshes the iPhone software and can often resolve temporary issues that may be affecting its performance, including problems with receiving calls. If you continue to experience difficulties after restarting your device, further troubleshooting steps may be necessary to identify and resolve the underlying cause. Step number 3. Check Do Not Disturb and Silent Mode It is important to ensure that your iPhone settings are not causing issues with receiving calls. Here's how you can check and adjust these settings. Open the Settings app on your iPhone and tap on Do Not Disturb. Here, you can adjust the following settings. Make sure the toggle switch next to Do Not Disturb is set to off, white, when Do Not Disturb is enabled green, calls and notifications will be silenced and will not ring or alert you. If scheduled is enabled, ensure that the scheduled time period does not coincide with the times you expect to receive calls. Check the Allow Calls From section to make sure it includes the appropriate contacts or favorites. Locate the physical mute switch on the side of your iPhone. Orange indicator. If the mute switch shows an orange indicator, it means silent mode is enabled and your iPhone will not ring for incoming call. Disable silent mode. To disable silent mode, flip the mute switch so that the orange indicator is no longer visible. You should see a silver indicator instead, indicating the silent mode is off and your iPhone will ring for incoming calls. By ensuring that do not disturb is disabled and silent mode is off, you can prevent these settings from silencing calls and notifications on your iPhone, allowing you to receive incoming calls as expected. If you have checked these settings and are still experiencing issues, harder troubleshooting may be required to resolve the problem. Step number 4. Update Carrier Settings Updating your carrier settings can sometimes resolve connectivity issues that affect incoming calls. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to check for and update your carrier settings. Start by ensuring your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi network. This ensures a stable internet connection for downloading any updates. Tap on the Settings app on your iPhone's home screen. In the Settings menu, tap on Wi-Fi to view available networks. Choose a Wi-Fi network from the list and enter the password if required to connect. After connecting to Wi-Fi, you can proceed to check for any available updates to your carrier settings. Tap on Settings to return to the main Settings menu. 
scroll down and tap on general to access general settings options tap on about view information about your iphone if a carrier update is available a notification prompt will appear on the screen tap update to download and install the carrier settings update updating your carrier settings can improve network connectivity which in turn can resolve issues with receiving incoming calls on your phone after updating you may need to restart your iphone to apply the changes if you continue to experience issues with incoming calls after updating other troubleshooting or contacting your carrier support may be necessary step number five reset network settings resetting network settings can often resolve persistent network related issues that may be affecting incoming calls on your iphone here's how you can reset your network settings start by opening the settings app on your iphone's home screen scroll down and tap on general to access general settings option scroll to the bottom on the general settings menu and tap on reset tap on reset network settings Please note that this action will erase all saved Wi-Fi passwords, VPN settings, and other network configurations from your iPhone. If prompted, enter your iPhone's passcode to proceed with the reset. A confirmation pop-up will appear. Tap Reset Network Settings again to confirm. After resetting network settings, your iPhone will restart to apply the changes. This process clears out any network-related preferences or configurations that may have been causing connectivity issues, potentially resolving problems with receiving incoming calls. In mind that after resetting network settings, you will need to reconnect to Wi-Fi networks and re-enter Wi-Fi passwords. If you continue to experience issues after resetting network settings, other troubleshooting or contacting your carrier support may be necessary. Step number six: Update iOS software. Keeping your iPhone's operating system up to date is essential for maintaining performance and stability. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to check for and install iOS updates. Start by opening the Settings app on your iPhone's home screen. Scroll down and tap on General to access General Settings options. In the General Settings menu, tap on Software Update. Your iPhone will now check for available updates. If an update is available, you will see a description of the update, including its size and any new features or improvements. Tap on Download and Install to begin downloading the update. Ensure that your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi network to avoid using your cellular data for the download. After the download completes, tap on Install to start the installation process. Your iPhone will restart during the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update. Updating your iOS software ensures that your iPhone has the latest security patches, bug fixes, and performances enhancements provided by Apple. It is important to regularly check for and install updates to optimize your iPhone's functionality and to resolve any issues that may be affecting cell reception or other aspects of device performance. Step number 7. Check Call Forwarding and Block Contacts Ensure that call forwarding settings are not diverting calls away from your iPhone. Also, check if any contacts are accidentally blocked. Here's how. Check call forwarding. Tap on the settings app on your iPhone's home screen. Scroll down and tap on phone. Tap on call forwarding. Here, you can manage call forwarding settings. Make sure the toggle switch next to call forwarding is turned off or white. When call forwarding is enabled green, incoming calls to your iPhone may be redirected to another number you have specified. Disabling this feature ensures that calls are directed to your iPhone as expected. Check Block Contacts. Tap on Settings to return to the main settings menu. Scroll down and tap on Phone. Tap on Block Contacts. Here, you can view and manage the list of contacts that are blocked. To unblock a contact, wipe left on the contact's name and tap Unblock. Alternatively, tap Edit in the top right corner. Tap the red minus sign next to the contact you want to unblock, and then tap Unblock. By ensuring that call forwarding is disabled and less intentionally used, and reviewing block contacts to unblock any unintended entries, you can ensure that incoming calls are not diverted away from your iPhone. And there you have it, 7 steps to help troubleshoot and fix an iPhone that is not receiving calls. If you have tried all these steps and still have issues, it might be time to contact Apple support or your carrier for further assistance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you again soon.